standing at the foot of the table facing up in a lunge position or kneeling, outside hand grasps Achilles tendon as the heel of the inside hand contacts the ball of the foot at the metatarsal heads with fingers pointing in the same direction as the toes and dorsiflexes the ankle with inversion then eversion in this dorsiflex position. Then the fingers of inside hand slides around the medial arch to contact the dorsal surface of the metatarsals, plantar flexing the ankle with inversion then eversion in this plantar flexed position. Finished by circumducting the ankle. Standing alongside the leg with the calcaneus in the palm of the inside hand and the ball of the foot against the forearm, use the outside hand to stabilize the limb beside the knee, keeping it in neutral alignment so that the hip is neither medially nor laterally rotated. Inside hand tractions the calcaneus distally. Using pressure of the forearm on the ball of the foot, lunge slowly forward to take the ankle into dorsiflexion. As you lunge, ask the client to pull the toes upwards towards the knee to facilitate the stretch. Repeat the mobilization after the stretch is finished. With the therapist at the foot of the table facing up, standing in a lunge position or kneeling, outside hand grasps Achilles tendon as the heel of the inside hand contacts the ball of the foot at the metatarsal heads, with fingers pointing in the same direction as the toes, and dorsiflex the ankle, with inversion then eversion in this dorsiflexed position. Then the fingers of the inside hand slide around the medial arch to contact the dorsal surface of the metatarsals, plantar flexing the ankle with inversion then eversion in this plantar flexed position. Finish by circumducting the ankle. With the therapist standing in a lunge position or sitting at the foot of the table facing up, outside hand grasps the calcaneus, shifting it superiorly to initiate plantar flexion. Then inside hand grasps the foot with a palm on the dorsum and the fingers wrapped around the medial arch and tractions distally while applying pressure on the foot to continue plantar flexion. Finally, use inside hand to add slight eversion. Repeat the mobilization after the stretch is finished.